Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Sunday night which means it's trad beer night and the beer review we're doing tonight is an unintended collaboration. Or is it? Well, let me fill you in. Uh, earlier this year, or tail end of last, I forget exactly when it was, uh, these two breweries came together to produce this. It was Titanic and Thornbridge with Britannic. And it was an IPA uh, weighing at 5.3% ABV. And it got me thinking uh, when I tried it that it was very similar to uh, two of the existing beers in the lineup if you had combined them. Uh, and those two beers were Iceberg from Titanic and Jaipur from Thornbridge. So tonight we are going to do exactly that. We're going to blend the two um, to see if it's anything remotely like Britannic. Um, I've drunk a lot of both of those beers over the years and uh, Untapped shows that there have been lots of check-ins to them both as well. Uh, and the average scores are pretty close as well. I mean, you take a look, 10,600 check-ins to Iceberg, nearly 126K on the Jaipur. 335 is an average, slightly higher at 354 for the Jaipur. Um, yeah, lots of check-ins, lots of love for both of those beers. And I love them both a lot. Uh, Iceberg is my favourite pale beer from Titanic. And Jaipur, well, it's, it's a legend in the craft beer industry. So... Uh, Without further ado tonight, we're going to try and achieve something remotely close to Britannic. Uh, we're going to be pouring it into my Titanic glass. It's my Anytime IPA pint glass. And what we're going to do, we're going to start with roughly 50-50 of each and see remotely what it's like. So, both are nice and cold, as IPA should be. Uh, so the pour on this one is super pale. Super delicious and clear as a bell. It's actually beer in a glass. Looks nice. Let's have a whiff. Oh, it's glorious. Anyway, and then Jaipur. In the bottle, it is this one. I know the big ones bottle conditioned. Are the small ones? Uh, no, it doesn't mention it. It does not mention if the small one is bottle conditioned. Interesting. Interesting. The, the the bigger 500ml bottles definitely are, and they have a unique taste. They are sharper than the canned version. Anyway, let's top up to roughly the same. See, there's a bit of cloudiness going on there. That should do. So, hasn't really added much visually to the beer. It's a little bit cloudier. Colour-wise, it's about the same. Have another whiff. See, it's got that sweetness that Jaipur has, that that citrusy, grapefruity, lemony, beautiful thing that both those beers have going for them. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. works it works really really well there's no getting away from it the one thing i really wanted more from britannic was a little bit more of a bitterness and a bite um, that comes from the iceberg the iceberg has got a real pithy grapefruit kick to it and it's glorious and that shines here it really does it's pushing its way through it's just fighting a little bit with the sweetness of jaipur and yeah it's great It's balanced. It is nice in, in as much as I get a bit of both of the flavours. It's hop forward by a long, long way. Both beers are extremely hoppy. Um, both the traits of Jaipur and Iceberg are coming through. The bitter hoppiness of the, uh, of the Iceberg and that slightly sweeter, more rounded flavour of Jaipur is, is present up front and the bitterness kind of kicks in later. It is absolutely delicious. A little bit more bitter than Britannic, a little bit more complex than Britannic. So yeah, 
that's exactly what it is. So we are down to almost where we started with the iceberg and we're going to add a little bit more Jaipur in. Uh, we're going to add about half as much again of the Jaipur just to see how much closer to Britannic we can get it. So that's a bit more Jaipur. It doesn't really look any different. I don't know why the camera's trying to focus over there, but it is. Anyway, it's what it looks like now. Again, really no different. It smells a little sweeter. I'm getting less of the grapefruit. Yeah. The Jaipur is overpowering to a degree the bitterness from the iceberg and it's much closer to what Britannic was in terms of that balance of sweetness and bitterness. It is a delicious combination whichever way you do it. Yeah. Now if I was going to keep continue blending I wouldn't go the other way and put more of the iceberg than the Jaipur because iceberg is dominant. Um, in a big, big way in terms of that bitterness and that grapefruit and that, that pithy goodness that I absolutely adore about it. Uh, and you'd lose everything about the grapefruit, uh, sorry, about the Jaipur. Uh, it would be overpowered by the grapefruit. So I'm not going to go that way, even though it's a bigger bottle of the, uh, the iceberg than the Jaipur. I think it'd be interesting going forward to get the 500ml bottle conditioned version of Jaipur and see exactly what it goes like. Um, I am surprised that th this one isn't bottle conditioned, but then again, am I? Yeah, yeah I am. Uh, it's the same as the can, and uh, that was a little bit sweeter, a little bit clearer, and uh, yeah. So, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy that beer. Mm. I do. Would I blend them again? Or would I just go and buy Britannic? I think I would blend them again. And I would go straight down the middle with the 50-50 of the Iceberg and the Jaipur. And because I like and missed that pithy bitterness from the Iceberg in Britannic. Um, that's not to take away from Britannic. It's a bloody good beer. Um, but I just prefer that slightly bitter edge that the iceberg brings to this particular blend so yeah it's definitely one to repeat definitely um but, uh, but I'm, I'm trying to think of other options maybe the anytime ipa with jaipur could be quite interesting so maybe some of the other pale options from uh, from thornbridge would be a good pairing uh particularly some of the double dry hopped versions that would be quite an interesting blend um yeah there's a lot, a lot of combinations from both breweries that I could do and uh, thoroughly enjoy. But uh, but tonight it's all about the, the Jaipur and the Iceberg. So uh, yeah, very, very good blend. Highly recommend it. I'll go with 50-50 and uh, yeah, give it a try if you haven't before. So uh, we'll leave it there and say, those have been the beers. I've been me. Them down there are the buttons. You know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got your like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Choose any combination of them as you wish. And I'll see you again soon for another one. Bye for now. As if the ice cream van comes in at that point. <sighs> Laters.